Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my haul from Salt Mountain Melt. So she did a pre-order, was this in September? Time is weird, <laughs> I can't remember, but I wanna say it was in September. You guys, this box, I have went through and smelled everything because I don't have self-control. This is a good, good order. Um, I'm going to post this after the RTS, or not after the RTS, sorry, after her next pre-order. But I'm really tempted after smelling this to go into her next pre-order. I had in my head, was very convinced that I was not going to go in. Now after smelling all these things, I'm not so convinced. So I'm still going to try to stay strong. Hopefully I do because I've got a lot of other stuff. I've got a lot of other stuff coming up. Like I definitely want to do the Teddy Bees RTS. That's like my favorite thing ever. Cincy, bring back my bar for early access consultants. I want to get those here in December. And then we're going to do a live about that. So stay tuned for those details. Um, and then also my club ships in December. So that's three orders that I know are coming in. So I really should, I really should not buy. But after smelling all this stuff, I'm tempted. So we'll go ahead and get started with the sniffs. First though, I did want to show you my sweatshirt. Little rip and it says rip on it. Charity sent this to me and I wore it in our live the other day um, in November, but I haven't shouted her out on a video yet. So I wanted just to show you guys it because I love it. I'm obsessed. Um, it's a great color, it's super cozy. I love seeing my sweet boy's face on it and I'm just so grateful. So thank you so much, Charity. I love you and I so appreciate it because this is just perfect. So I just wanted to give her that shout out since I have not uh, showed this yet. But let's get started. There was some candy in the box. Um, let's see, I've got a candy cane and I wanna say, I'll find it, it's probably buried in here somewhere now, but there was a Hershey's Kiss um, as well. Um, let's see, you do get a card from her. It says, thank you for supporting my small business. Amanda is the owner of Salt Mountain Melt. I have done probably four or five pre-orders with her, but I feel like I'm still kind of getting used to her scents and finding favorites. And even though I feel like I'm experienced as far as ordering, I'm, I feel like I'm a newbie to this vendor. So I picked up all souffles, um, just because I wanted to try a scent and not get anything too crazy. I think only one of these is a repurchase. So um, a lot of them are Christmassy scents, so honestly, probably for the most part, these are going to sit until next winter. We'll have to see. Um, I just filmed my winter melting basket, if you guys have any interest in watching that, and it is obnoxious. So I very well could melt some of these for sure, but I'm like, I need to get through. I need to get through that older stuff first. So first is Strawberry Woods. I love her labels. I love her aesthetic. She just puts a label that is so perfect for the scent. And I love that, like these labels are darling. So Strawberry Woods is Iced Vanilla Woods, Strawberry Pound Cake and Buttercream. Yes, sign me up. Everything about that I was excited about. If you guys know me, you know that I love <laughs> Lavender and Speckles Strawberry Musk, which her Strawberry Musk is her Icy Vanilla Woods and Strawberry Pound Cake. So this is, the same scent, but the addition of buttercream. And so I was like, yeah, I have to try that. This is amazing. I wonder if I have Strawberry Woods, like semi handy. Let's see. I can compare. Or I say strawberry woods, I went, I meant strawberry musk. Okay. So the buttercream is the only note that doesn't uh, align. I do feel like 
the salt mountain melts it does it definitely has better cream it's a creamier blend and this is more just the strawberry and iced vanilla woods i mean both of them are amazing yeah i i love that one uh, but i knew that i would based on the scent notes of that yeah i'm really excited to have this I just love ice vanilla woods right now like I'm obsessed with it so anything that has ice vanilla woods I'm on board for so that one was strawberry woods lavender flurries so this one is snowflakes and cashmere lavender coconut milk and toasted marshmallow a little more out of my comfort zone. I'm not a big cashmere person. I like lavender, but I don't need tons of it. Just kind of depends on the blend and everything. But I wanted to give this a try. I was already making a gigantic order. So what is another souffle? Look at this souffle with the snowflakes. This is a really pretty, um, really pretty lavender. This is going to be great for my bedroom at night. Mm, very, very good lavender. You do get a little bit of the coconut milk, but I feel like you also really get the cashmere. And I, I like this. The cashmere isn't too cashmere-y. It just kind of adds a prettiness to the scent, kind of blends it together, I feel like. I don't get any toasted marshmallow, but to be honest, I, I wasn't expecting to get any toasted marshmallow. Yeah, I love this. Don't need more of it for sure, but I mean, it's a good nighttime bedroom scent. So that one was Lavender Flurries. Next is Rocky Mountain Christmas guys look at this label are you serious I just I love that so much so this is fresh balsam sugar cookies and buttercream sign me up it really is a fresher tree scent it's very crisp I want to try to pop this out. I'm not getting much of the sugar cookie or the buttercream, but maybe I can do that on the bottom. Let's see. I don't know if this is, oh, this might be way too messy. Okay. Yeah. Let's abandon ship, abandon ship. It's a very fresh balsam scent. Very tree forward in my nose. Um, we'll see if the sugar cookie or the buttercream come out more as it cures and on warm. Um, I like it though. I mean, I love a good tree scent, so I'm not going to be upset if I just get the balsam. So that one's Rocky Mountain Christmas. I've got little wax, wax pieces on me from that. Raspberry cookies. I knew I wanted to get this one because I love her raspberry. She really has a wonderful raspberry and I don't have too much raspberry in my collection. Um, I feel like she does it really well. I have heard that Second and Spruce has a beautiful raspberry. I've yet to try it, but I am definitely wanting to try it, but it's just a good raspberry. So this is raspberry jam, sugar cookies, and marshmallow fluff. Yeah, it really, it really is. You get that macerated raspberry jam for sure. It's sweet. And I do get the marshmallow fluff, surprisingly, where I get this very creamy marshmallow scent. I'm not getting a sugar cookie in any sense that it's like a crunchy cookie or anything, but I'm sure that kind of helps just blend things. Oh my gosh, this is delicious. This is so good. Kind of a light bakery, a very sweet raspberry, good fruity scent. Good for any time of year, really. 
and especially like a good summer bakery. So that one was raspberry cookies. Okay, milk and cookies for Santa. Look at this label, you guys. <laughs> I love it so much. She does such a great job with the labels and the aesthetic of her wax. Eggnog, Mrs. Claus cookies, and sugar cookies. So I'm not sure what Mrs. Claus cookies is, if that's just a single oil or if that's another blend of hers or what. Cute. This one's not my favorite. And I think it's the eggnog or it's the Mrs. Claus's cookies and I don't know what that oil or what that scent is supposed to be. But I want to say it's maybe the eggnog, but this smells spiked. It literally smells like you have whiskey in your eggnog, right? Is that what you put in eggnog? I don't drink eggnog. I, um, I don't like eggs, like in general. <laughs> and so eggnog, even if it doesn't taste super eggy, it really just like mentally turns me off kind of. So I am not an eggnog drinker. Maybe I should try a little bit of it this year and just expand my horizons, but it's not something I, I normally indulge in. Um, but I want to say you put whiskey in it. Is that how you spike it? Let me know. You eggnog connoisseurs, let me know down below. How do you drink eggnog? Um, uh, but this almost gives me like a boozy note. It's interesting. So I'd be curious what this Mrs. Claus cookies is. Maybe there's just something I'm not picking up, or maybe this is her eggnog oil that I'm just not quite caring for. Yeah, I don't know if I want to give this a try or maybe I'll pass this on. I I am a big preacher about, you know, sometimes if you don't like a scent, just give it a try. It changes. So I should maybe at least try a sliver of it. And then I can always pass on the rest if I um, want to. But I'm sure a lot of people will love this one. But the milk and cookies for Santa. I guess I was expecting it to be just like the creamiest bakery scent. And there is something else there that I'm not quite sure about. Found the Hershey's Kiss. All right. Candy Cane Forest. This is vanilla balsam crushed candy canes and toasted marshmallow. Anything that's got tree in it right now, I'm really interested in. So <laughs> I got this one. It's so pretty. You definitely get the crushed candy cane. It's very, very prominent, but I do get the vanilla balsam. It's not as strong as the candy cane, but it's there and it's good. This is pretty. I hope that the candy cane doesn't overtake the vanilla balsam as much. It's really pretty though. I love vanilla balsam. Any tree type scent. A great winter scent too, you know. It's crazy that I bought all these and I know that they're, you know, for the most part going to have to sit until next winter. That's just, uh, that's the nature of the game, but Pine Ridge Farm. This is one, look at that label, oh my gosh. This is one that I've been excited about for a long time. I've seen a lot of people haul it, you know, over the years and have always said, oh, that sounded really good, but just been curious about it. So this is fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallow. What is this little fuzzy? It's like little Christmas trees on it. The pine is definitely the strongest and I love it. The cinnamon sugar though, to me, it's not really cinnamon sugar. It's more of a spicy cinnamon. Like you are outside at a tree farm, you smell the fresh cut pine, but you have a hot cup of tea or a hot cup of like chai, spicy chai, like you're drinking something kind of um, with a kick with a spice to it. That's what I get. 
I wish that the sugar, or I'm sorry, the cinnamon sugar was a little more sugary. To me, it really is kind of that red hot spice. But this blends really nicely together and it's just a good cozy winter scent. And I don't get toasted marshmallow per se, but I'm sure it's just a blender in this situation. Yeah, that one's really good. Love me pine. Pine I've discovered is my favorite tree. My favorite tree, nope. Okay. This one is a repurchase. Um, I have some of this in my collection already, but I had to add to it while she was offering. And that is Outer Banks. This is Beach Nights Marshmallow Cake and Sugar Cookie. So good. One of the best Beach Night blends ever. So I actually have a loaf right now. And I was debating, like, do you get a loaf? Do you get the tub? And I was like, just get another souffle. You'll feel better that you got a little bit more of it while it was offered, but I still have a loaf. So let's not get crazy, but <laughs> I did want to pick more of it up because I love the Beach Night blends. And this one is just chef's kiss. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> you definitely get the Beach Nights, but you really get the marshmallow and the sugar cookie. It's very sweet. It's very creamy. This is a very popular one of hers. So it's like such a random scent in all of this like winter Christmassy ones, but that's how much people love this blend. Wow, it's just such a pretty creamy beach night. I have no regrets getting, getting more of it. And a souffle can do my open concept. Um, my like kitchen and living room area. So this is perfect just for like one day in the summer when I want to beach nights, I can just pull out the souffle um, and melt that. So that one is Outer Banks. Christmas tree cakes. Look at that label. Oh my gosh. So this one is white cake, yellow cake, buttercream, marshmallow, and sprinkles. So just like your bakery marshmallow heaven. And I love Christmas tree cakes in general. They're so tasty. And I don't know if I would say this smells like a Christmas tree cake per se, but they don't probably really have that much of a smell. It really is just a good cakey buttercream vanilla scent. I am a little bit concerned just by the nature of the scent that maybe it won't be the best performer. We'll see. So I might try this on its own. Um, and if it's not like the strongest, I might use this as a blender for other things. Who, I mean, who knows? Maybe this will be a powerhouse. But these types of like straight up vanilla bakery scents sometimes for me are light. But this is, this is good. I think this would be great blended with like a little bit of pine. Oh my gosh, that would be, I know not Christmas tree and cakes like, but just the scent blended with like pine or something I think would be so good. So that was Christmas tree cakes. What do I have left? Four? Yeah, four more. Cindy Lou Who. This is Twisted Peppermint Cotton Candy and Vanilla Bean Noel. The cotton candy really intrigued me by this one. Um, I love Vanilla Bean Noel. I love Cotton Candy. I love Twisted Peppermint in the body care. Not the biggest peppermint fan scent wise, but I thought blended together. That sounded really good. And you really get the Cotton Candy. I thought that maybe the peppermint would take over. And don't get me wrong, the peppermint is there but I really get the cotton candy. This is very, very sweet. This almost seems like this would be a good, I mean, any time of winter scent and obviously Christmas because of the name, but like February scent where you kind of got the Valentine's Day candy a little bit sweeter with the cotton candy, but it's still very winter forward. This is good. If you like cotton candy, you definitely pick it up that oil in here. It does not get drowned out or anything. 
So that one was Cindy Lou Who. Fireside Cookies. I absolutely had to get this one. This is Roasted Pine Cone, Palo Santo, Marshmallow Fireside, and Sugar Cookies. I mean, if it has Roasted Pine Cone, cone in it, normally it ends up in my cart. It's just a, this one's matte. The roasted pine cone, but you get like the sugar cookie, um, the marshmallow fire side. I really don't get a ton of Palo right now, but sometimes when Palo and pine cone are blended together for me, it's kind of hard to tell the difference because they're both very earthy, woodsy scents. So I think they blend so well together. Sometimes I have a hard time picking out one or the other. I mean, I definitely get the pine cone. This is really good. Yeah, this is really delicious. Glad I got that one. Twin Flame. This is Vanilla Birch, Campfire Marshmallow, and Sugar Cookie. I love this one. You really get the campfire marshmallow. Like that very sweet, kind of reminds me a little bit of Rose Girls campfire marshmallow where it's very creamy marshmallow and not so smoky. But you get the vanilla and you get that birch. This is stunning. Wow. I wish that Salt Mountain did RTSs because this would be one that I would definitely want to pick up more of. Yes, this one is so good. Wow, I should go through my favorites here at the end, maybe. Because I did. This is definitely the biggest Salt Mountain pre order I've ever done, I'm pretty sure. Okay, and then the last one that I have is Fireside Cake. This is one that she had added to the list, I think, at the last minute. And when I saw it, I was like, yep, you're getting added to the cart. Marshmallow Fireside plus Marshmallow Cake. I love anything marshmallow, like, in scent, in life. <laughs> like, sometimes when I get ice cream, I get marshmallow cream with it. I love, like, a marshmallow sundae. Real big marshmallow gal. <laughs> I love just how creamy and sweet of a vanilla it is. I think that's what I enjoy about it. You guys, this is so good. It's like, to me, a mixture of Campfire Marshmallow from Rose Girls, where you really get that creamy, um, sweet marshmallow, but it's mixed with Marshmallow Fireside, so you also get a little bit more of that smokiness, um, but that creaminess is still there, and it's not overtaken by the smoky scent. Again, I wonder if this is going to be light, but Marshmallow Fireside is normally a pretty strong scent, so we will see. Um, that's my entire order. I have been splitting, like setting things to the side that I, I'm like, these are my standout favorites, but honestly, this whole order I'm like very, very happy with. But if I had to pick my favorites of the order, which is like half of it <laughs> because I cannot, I cannot narrow this down. Um, it would definitely be Outer Banks because it's just the most beautiful beach nights ever. Strawberry Woods because it is very reminiscent of Strawberry Musk to me. I love the strawberry with the icy vanilla woods. That's just a favorite. Um, fireside Cookies because anything a roasted pine cone I'm a huge fan of. That is such a good pine cone scent. The raspberry cookies. Her raspberry is just to die for. It is such a pretty raspberry. And this is a good all year round or summertime bakery. Twin flame. Oh my gosh. I think if I had to pick 
just one, I would pick Twin Flame. So that's everything for my Salt Mountain Melts pre-order. Did you guys pick up anything from this? This was such an epic order, so I hope that you guys were able to snag some goodies. That's everything I have for this haul, and we'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!